Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by 5paisa.com and Delta.exchange. And today, we open slightly higher. Uh, Nifty was also in green and Bank Nifty was also green uh, following the global queues and Asian markets were in green. But as soon as the market opened, the selling started. The selling was so severe in all the index heavyweight stocks and terrible one is the HDFC and the HDFC the whole group has been hugely underperforming for the last two years and today can you imagine HDFC falling 70-80 rupees from intraday high to intraday low it kept on falling so while falling also it keeps on falling while shooting up also it keeps on shooting up I remember last week one day it shot up 5% and today after shooting up 5% you know every day it keeps falling so this huge move in HDFC, HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank and ICSA Bank, you know, making market is too much volatile. The whole of March, the Bank Nifty, you know, every day make a bigger move. Even today, it opened higher, then it fell 600 points from the high and then from the low, it shot up more than 750 points, you know. The Bank Nifty, uh, as usual, going all over the places. And today, uh, in addition to the usual suspects, HDFC Bank, HDFC, Kotak Bank and ICSA Bank, Infosys also started falling. At some point of time, there was some profit booking in Reliance also. And uh, who thought a Nifty would break uh, last week low? On March 22, the Nifty made a low of 17,006 and then the support came and market went up and we all thought you know so that will not be broken again and moreover the 200 day moving average was at 17,036 and we thought that will not be broken but today that was broken even the March 22 low of 17,006 was also broken but very slightly and today Nifty made a low 17,004 and then started recovering and while our market started recovering Europe market also opened and they are firmly in green and the way European market was trading firmly in green the US futures also turned positive so now there is a green paint all over the world now and uh, crude prices uh, falling that's something really very good so right now I check it is trading around 112 dollars so that is really very very good for us but I really don't know uh, what is wrong with this HDFC and uh, even today even when the markets moved higher and HDFC closed significantly lower today and uh, another good thing today is that the India VIX uh, fell another 3.5%. So option premiums, you know, in the month of April, May, June, I have options in all, all the months. I have in April options, May options, June options, December options like that. So the premiums all eroded. So that is something really very good. And uh, as I stated earlier, and Nifty has been trading between 17,000 and 17,500 with a huge volatility. Even today also it was hugely volatile and Nifty shot up more than 200 points from intraday low and Bank Nifty shot up more than 750 points from intraday low. So that's a kind of intraday moves that's happening. But since the beginning, the mid caps and small caps have been underperforming today and it was a large caps only recovered but mid caps and small caps did not recover. So they both closed in red only and uh, yesterday that is a Friday uh, people have taken 17,200 short saddle uh, they must be the happiest people now and both call and put uh, eroded so much you know I think they would have made about 5% uh, uh, profit in just one trading session and even now for the rest of the days also people are creating 17,200 short straddle. So right now 17,200 short straddle 
uh, is slightly more than 300 rupees premium and you know so as long as nifty is trading between 16.9 and 17.5 so these people will be making some good profit so fa data is still not out and uh, but i'm sure they must be on the sell side uh, otherwise how are you going to explain such a big fall in hdfc so well, let us wait for the uh, fa data to see uh, how our market is going to react tomorrow morning and of course from now to tomorrow morning them so many things can happen but the way uh, european markets are moving uh, i suspect some we can expect some positive news from russia ukraine front and although there are some news floating you know putin and zelensky will be meeting each other then later moscow has denied it or maybe something behind the curtain is going on and i think that's what i can sense looking at the uh prices of crude gold everything falling you know vix is also falling all over the world and so on so let us hope that uh, russia ukraine problem comes to an end so that our market will also go higher and i can tell you there is one leg of uh, rally is there as and when this russian problem getting resolved so that's it for now hope you enjoyed watching the video Thank you for watching.